red or blue? Where could he be hiding? Stay put now, boy, wherever you are. business. I was smart of you, didn't I? Oh, don't be like that, Einie. Look, Einie, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy, now hold still. See, I'm not such a bad guy, right? Oh, oh, okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Huh? Well, what is it, boy? be in a world of trouble, citizen. Wait, I know that creature. Officer Parker, that's the stray that keeps escaping the kennel. I thought he was muzzled. I took the muzzle off. Oh, what? That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are in violation of statute 357K. Parker, demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to the kennel. Yes, ma'am. Filthy, wretched beasts. Sorry, I mean, once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble, unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. A can of spray paint. Happy Yeah? Leech my th Ooh. Again? What can I say? I'm a glutton for punishment. Then ye shall feast. To the victor go the hickeys. say some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't mm -hmm. <laughs> you broke my headstock I think I've got a new idol come here 
Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. Oh. Hooliganism! Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? And tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a full 76 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. Mom? Mom, please. Yeah, Ray. This time. Oh, damn it, Dad. What? Let out. Mom? Mom? Huh? Where'd she go? Mom? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. Hey, is that... No. Lorraine, don't ignore me. Lorraine! No, I'm not talking to you. Why are you acting so childish? Ah, what happened? What the heck am I looking at? Yes. Mom, now the dad isn't watching. Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. <laughs> but it's been so hard. What with your brother and sister leaving? And then your father getting obsessed with his monitor and going drunk. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. This timeline sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things is falling apart. Time to get some attention. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Well, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me! Yeah, I knew you were no good, McFly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that... that booze? Nowhere? Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Could we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? No! Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the discycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, 
Keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. Hey, Jennifer, are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being citizen plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Wow, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it young Mr. McFly? is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, Let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge Department Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is, what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Forget questions. You're the one who needs to turn around. Explain. I know this is going to be hard for you to swallow, Doc, but I'm not from around here. I'm from a different timeline where Hill Valley isn't all screwed up and there aren't these crazy rules and, and my dad's not a snoop and my mom's not a drunk and, and you're my best friend in the whole space-time continuum. An old fogey like me? Your best friend? Yes! And Doc, I need you to get me back there. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes! You went through all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes! A cry for help, as it were. Yes! No way. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Forget my mother. She's not the issue here. Don't ever forget your mother, Martin. Your parents are your superiors, and respect for one's superiors is absolutely essential to the Hill Valley Order. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. 
You mean a warped citizen. He's supposed to be a science fiction writer, not a peeping Tom. And you're supposed to invent a time machine. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Right. Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame and the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes, yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing, it's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. Yes, I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It, it was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. I'm Michael Corleone. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. Believe me, I wish I had fabricated it. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social condition. Yeah, you don't understand. No, I don't understand you, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Um, take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your map. Your memory. Check this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor. Your greatest invention. That can't be my notebook. The handwriting is far too sloppy. Remember this. Carl Sagan escapes, June 13th, 1931. Yes, I remember the incident back when crime went unchecked in Hill Valley. I'm the one who rescued him, and I did it with the help of your first invention, the rocket-powered drill. The rocket-powered drill? It never worked. Failed and misguided contraption with a tendency to explode. Uh, an impressively detailed delusion. Keep talking. They don't need it. See, this is my father back when he was a teenager. With your time machine, I went back to 1955 and helped him stand up to bed. Interesting. Of course, Mr. Tannen spent most of 1955 at our juvenile rehabilitation facility, learning to control his anger. He did? No wonder my dad's still so... lame. See this picture? In the other timeline, I've got a girlfriend who loves me. Interesting. The subject's fantasy life also includes an imaginary girlfriend. What? Oh, great. The timeline's catching up with me. Maybe this song will remind you of something. Tell me, Doctor, where are we going this time? Yes, it does. It reminds me why we banned rock and roll. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. 
That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? I, uh, bizarre fantasy life. Go on. Proceed. Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. Come look it up. You know better, right? Damn it. I, I, wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitani, the scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland, my scientific muse and a love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me, and you, the other you. It is me, and you, but how, Michael, it's impossible. No, it's science, your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I, am I happy there? Very happy, you've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to Riddy Hill Valley of vice and disorder. You dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right, then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. Aquan's proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Ah! 
pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Phil, nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidents of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah, ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. W-O-P-R. That monitor's dead. That monitor's dead. That monitor's dead. That monitor. Monitor. Found my tape yet? I'm telling you, Dad, it was taken by... No, it's got to be here. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who? Who could have done this to me? Who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna! Are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? Um, not exactly, no. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad, we can't just give up. I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months. Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh... What I mean is... I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring straight dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. I don't think they'd be interested in a picture of my dad. Him and weep. The merits, but it's the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh. You said that to him? Basically, yeah. 
Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I, I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That is a scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of it. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... It's your civic duty. Doesn't Citizen Brown always tell us to keep our noses clean? And that's what I plan to do. Think of your family. I am. And I don't want to see my family relocated to Sector X with all the other hopeless cases. Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. Now what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Help me figure out which monitor I'm on. What's the problem, sir? Yeah. That's it. Air demerit print out before you go. doesn't look right. Oh, wait, uh, never mind. 